Hi, I'm Dr. Max, and we're here today here by Dr. Max Restoration Center in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We're here today with Sherry, who is a patient of mine. We had a life-changing procedure done in August of 2021, right uh, during COVID. The last time I seen you, you mentioned how much difference in your life it made to have your hair back, right? Yes. And so Sherry agreed to share her experience about the procedure. And I just wanted to give some background about what was happening. Sherry was diagnosed with uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's one of the conditions that can cause premature hair loss, especially in women. We frequently talk what is female pattern hair loss, male pattern hair loss. In your case, you actually had a male pattern hair loss. So with polycystic ovarian syndrome, unfortunately what happens, the testosterone levels become too high. And as a result, DHT, dehydroxytestosterone levels, that's what actually harmful to hair follicle. With prolonged exposure can cause same type of hair loss like a lot of men do uh, throughout lifetime. And this is what actually we started with. This is how Sherry looked um, two years ago. And with this type of hair loss, both men and women will lose anterior part of the hairline and it can progress further back. So when we planned the surgery, we had to take into account potential progression of the hair loss in the future. We did what we, what we call a no shave approach. Typically, when we have a, a male pattern hair loss, we can trim the area and use the back and the side of the occipital part of the head. Uh, with women, we prefer something that can be more concealable. And in this case, we trim only part of the occipital part, so the hair above it can easily conceal the area where it was harvested. Uh, with Sherry, we are able to harvest over 2,400 grafts and pretty much restore the anterior, all anterior part of the hairline and you can see how much she's smiling now because <laughs> you were not smiling back then right no, I yeah wasn't happy right so could you tell me what made you choose us hair by dr max well i did some research i found that this was a really friendly place it, they answered all my questions dr max was with me the whole step of the way uh, in the procedure, he was in the room uh, talking to me to make me feel comfortable. And he did it all by himself. And uh, that was great because when I made some inquiries to other places, they had a whole staff of people. And I didn't like being passed around to different people working on me. So that was a big positive thing. It is. Um, to confirm what just Sherry said, um, in our clinic, only me as a board-certified hair transplant doctor, I do perform every procedure with my own hands, and uh, I don't do just a supervisory role, uh, supervising technicians, so it makes a big difference, right? Absolutely. So could you share some of your emotional aspect about getting your hair back? I was really depressed when uh, it all started. I was crying all the time. I just didn't feel good about myself. I couldn't go swimming. I couldn't, go, living in Florida, I couldn't go in the sun. So I felt really bad. After the procedure, uh, it was very easy to cover up. Uh, I just continued using a hairband or a scarf. Oh, I went to a wedding in less than a year and I had a full head of hair, so I was thrilled. Right, and you, yeah, and you still, do you feel like you you emotionally relieved, sort of? I have been happy every day when I get up. I can wash my hair. I can go out. The wind can blow. I I just feel great about myself. If you consider how much uh, hair loss can cause an emotional trauma, everyday trauma to people, if we can address this, is the most important component of having hair restoration surgery is less of how you look, and there's more how you feel about yourself, right? I will say that I did go to the beauty salon and I kept up with my hair and uh, kept it cut and I kept it dyed, I foiled, I was able to do everything I wanted to do with my hair again, and that's just wonderful. Great. When we talk about hair loss, hair loss is not something we can cure, so we can fix the areas empty areas but it's a progressive disease so 
it is very important to continue with the preventative therapy and I'm sure you are very much up to date with all the treatments, right? To yes, make sure I that you, there is no more progression. I use the hair boost uh, every day and it's just part of my daily routine of uh, grooming. Great. Well, what that means, you know, the hair that we transplant, it should last a lifetime, but we want to make sure that the rest of the areas with hair loss being controlled with mm -hmm. medications. Yes. So what can you say to people who may be suffering from hair loss? I would, your recommendation? I would recommend you have it done. Uh, it was worth the wait. And every day I wake up feeling good about myself. And it's just something that is worth investing in. Perfect. Okay, so with any questions regarding uh, what we do here in Hair by Dr. Max Restoration Center, please visit our website, bringbackhair.com. We have a very friendly staff. We'll be happy to assist you with any questions or concerns. Thank you. Thank you.